Reaction today from city and county leaders on this, a night of violence and destruction, protesters smashing windows and set fire inside the Multnomah County building. It is four o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Portland police declare the scene a riot. Our Lisa Balick is live today with what city and county leaders are saying about this latest out of control situation. Yeah, this was a surprise to a lot of people that the county building was targeted. It houses a lot of offices that help people who are in need. Now, take a look at what was happening last night. There were hundreds of demonstrators that gathered here on Southeast Hawthorne Boulevard, gathering in the street. At first, it was a peaceful group, but then, caught on camera, some started throwing rocks at the windows of the county building, smashing the glass in the windows and doors. Some poured lighter fluid into a first floor area. It's the Office of Community Involvement and threw burning material in side starting a fire. Portland police moved in declaring a riot and got protesters out of the area making a couple of arrests. No one was inside the building at the time. County leaders say there was no reason to target the property where marriage licenses, passports and social services are provided including stockpiling protective equipment donations used to help fight COVID. If the fire had spread or if that life protecting equipment had been damaged by smoke and water then health care workers, patients, and seniors would have paid the price. Now, this was actually the third county building damaged by protesters in recent months, so far at a cost of more than a million dollars. Now, I asked the sheriff today, why not try and stop the protests before they turn violent? I'll have his answer coming up today at 5. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Valick, Coin 6 News.